hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so this is week 4 assignment solution for ethical hacking course friends please watch the video till the end without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some content or if I change any answer in between you may miss that so do watch the video till the end the full video without skipping and friends I hope every solution is correct uh, because as they are involving the multiple options we may not uh, get the 100% I mean include all the answers here they may or may not be the possibility for some questions so if you know the exact answer if, or if you want uh, the answers to be changed please comment in the comment section along with the proof so that we can give the best solution to our viewers so moving on to the first question which of the following statement is or are false so the first question the answer is option b hypervisor allows one host system to support multiple virtual machines until then it is correct from next onwards that means however it does not allow resource sharing it is the false statement because it allows resource sharing so it is given wrong so hence option b is the answer so mark option B guys I don't know about option D I'm not sure about this because if we involve uh, the answer and if it gets wrong then no even partial marking is not uh, given so if we put only partial answer then we'll get some at least half of the marks so I'm going with only option B if you know the exact answer please comment in the comment section moving on to the second question which of the following statements is or are true about active reconnaissance? So for so for second question, the correct answer there are actually two correct answers. I'm sure that the, these two are the correct answers. That is option B. Information about target is collected directly, and the next one is option C. There is chance of detection in active reconnaissance. So mark option B and C. Guys, only for two or three questions there are probable uh, there are partial answers and remaining all questions I am sure about that. So don't worry. And moving on to third question, which of the following is not not an information source so for third question there are again two answers the first one is option b youtube and the other one is option e hydra because a c and d they have given in the lecture but they have not mentioned in uh, mentioned b and d so i am going with b and d guys if you uh, want to suggest any correct answers we mean uh, if you suggest any changes to these answers you can comment in the comment section so for this question the probable answers option B and E and moving on to fourth one which of the following data cannot cannot be retrieved about the target system or website using who is database lookup so for fourth question the answer is option D history of the website history of website cannot be retrieved so mark option D moving on to fifth question which of the following search operators can narrow down the search results to a site that has the targeted search term in the URL actually they have uh, messed up the question they have created some amb ambiguity because in the lecture first half of the uh, I mean narrow is a term used for uh, yeah, in title but the targeted search term in the URL this term this sentence is used for option A so they have created some ambiguity so on searching the internet I have got some clarity so probably option A is correct so I hope that option A is correct 
guys if you agree please uh, comment in the comment section or if you differ with my answer you can comment also with the proof so i think the a is most probable answer so i am marking option a moving on to sixth one which of the following information can be retrieved using dns mail server enumeration so for sixth question there are three answers i have got the first one is option a username and the next one is option b computer names and the other one is option e ip address of the system guys option f may also be correct because they give size of the organization but does it mean that size of the network so i have no clarity regarding option f so i am not giving it may also it may also be the answer but uh, going with safest option is the best one we can get partial uh, marking also so i am going with option a b and e i am not sure about f i think definitely uh, c and d are uh, not the answers and i am not sure about the f option so just a b and e moving on to seventh one which of the following statement is true for uh, host discovery using icmp echo so for seventh question there are two answers for uh, i have got the first one is option a and the other one is option c so mark a and c moving on to the eighth one which of the following option is used for host discovery using tcp and udp sweep respectively it means uh, first option uh, first the answer is about tcp and second should be about udp so according to this there are two answers these are exactly correct the first one is option d ps and pu and the other one is option e pa and pu generally ps and pa is used for tcp the pu is used for udp so mark d and e and moving on to the ninth question which of the following information is retrieved by port scanning so for ninth question the answer is option b so mark option b as correct answer for ninth question moving on to the 10th one what kind of packet is received if the target port is closed or filtered in tcp connect or sync scan so for 10th question the answer is option e rst by ack so acknowledgement so mark option e moving on to 11th one which of the following option is or are used for os and version detection respectively so the correct answer is option c o comma minus sv o means os and sv means version here capital v represents version so option c is correct answer for 11th question and moving on to 12th one how many ports are scanned in nmap for a target system if we use minus f option so actually it's not mentioned in the lecture so uh, with the information i have got on the internet it is 1000 1 0 0 and 0 so 1000 is the probable answer for 12th question guys if you know the exact answer you can comment not only this regarding this question and also about the whole assignment i am talking and moving on to 13th one which of the following nmap scanning option is or are correct with respect to the port scanning so for 13th question the probable answer is option a guys because they only mentioned about minus f in the uh, lecture and there is no mention mentioning about minus p20 so including the options which including minus p i am not uh, taking into consideration i am not sure actually not sure about p20 exists or not 
so the only option that that directly matches with the lecture is option a so i am going with option a uh, that doesn't mean that it is uh, the other are uh, wrong answers so if you know the exact answer you can comment in the comment section so the answers i am giving i am sure about that they are the correct answers but it doesn't mean that the remaining options are wrong so please catch my point moving on to 14th one if you want to disable host discovery in port scanning which of the following options can be used uh, it is clearly mentioned that uh, pn pn is used to skip the host discovery so hoping that uh, skip is equivalent to disable then option c will be correct so mark option c as correct answer for 14 and moving on to the 15th question that is final question of the assignment which of the following can be used to reconnect counter measures actually i think they have forgotten to give the word in between it is used to prevent use it to prevent so if it is prevent then the correct answer will be option f all of these so I am going with option F. Yep. So friends, these are the solutions regarding week 4 ethical hacking assignment answers. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. So if you know the uh, if you know the answers which I have marked out, you can comment in the comment section. Or if you have any doubt regarding the given answers also, you can comment. So for further more videos like this, keep supporting our channel like this. So until then, goodbye. Thank you.